Lagos education sector has been a beehive of activities. The state government reviewed plans to establish comprehensive schools with the aim of providing a suitable career path for students based on their profile of intelligence, intellectual and skill competence. With this, strategic stakeholders meeting was organized for public, private and individual stakeholders. The Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Polashade Adifisayo, said the essence of establishing the comprehensive schools is to make the students fit into the workplace requirement. The state government also trained teachers to fulfill the vision. The teachers were urged to put their best foot forward. The Comprehensive Schools Initiative have kicked off in schools across the state with a robust curriculum designed to teach the students from beginner stage to mastery level. The state government distributed electronic tablets to students of these schools to make learning effective. These tablets contain educational contents and will be closely monitored by officials to yield the desired results. The Comprehensive Schools covers five broad subjects categories in the pilot phase and they include agriculture, tech and digital skills, beauty and events, building and construction, as well as media and entertainment. These are primary school teachers in Lagos who have gone through training on the use of modern day technology to enhance teaching efficiency efficiency in their classrooms. The EcoXL project was introduced by the Babajide Sonwulu administration. It is an education reform program poised to develop highly skilled teachers through training, supporting and motivating them to succeed in the classrooms. The EcoXL initiative marked a new beginning in the public education sector of Lagos State. The initiative is a technology-based one that would empower teachers and school managers to deliver quality education with the aim of improving learning outcomes in public primary schools. Through the initiative, teachers now teach with an EcoXL tab using the curriculum and other teaching aids that allows for seamless classroom experience for both the teachers and the pupils, as well as providing administrators with a platform for instant assessment. Governor Babajide Sonwolu has presented 13 brand new SUVs to outstanding teachers and school administrators at the year 2021 Teachers Merit Awards. Teachers touch humanity and are the most critical factor in the educational system, hence the need for the government to continue to motivate the teachers. The various prize categories include Best Teachers and Best Administrators in Primary, Junior and Senior Secondary School categories, while teachers Teachers in the special education needs school and technical colleges were not left out of the awards. The winners, full of joy, appreciated the governor for the gifts. I'm an Olympia specialist. I'm an item writer. I'm a curriculum innovator and a curriculum planner. I, I do radio lessons. I do a lot of things that has to do with mathematics. I am very happy to be awarded with these gifts. I'm indeed grateful. To the Lagos state government. About 3,582 candidates were screened for the awards, but 22 made it through to the semi final stage where 13 winners were presented with brand new vehicles. As part of efforts to motivate students in Lagos to speak the French language as well as test their proficiency, the Ministry of Education organized a French quiz competition. At the end of the competition, Festa Girls Junior Secondary School emerged the winner in the Junior Secondary School category. Building and assembling robots helps students to become critical thinkers and solution providers using technology. This is why the Lagos State Government organized the year 2021 robotic competition for public secondary schools in the state. 
At the grand finale, Ojo Senior High School, Ojo, emerged the overall champion at the senior category. The winners will represent Lagos at the national competition in Abuja. The state government also organized the annual spelling bee competition aimed at justifying the state government's efforts in ensuring that students achieve their dreams while promoting excellence in the education sector. At the secondary school category, the first runner-up, Oki, coordinator, got the sum of 200,000 naira. In another development, Lagos State students emerged winners of the 2022 National Junior Engineers, Technicians and Scientists Competition, JETS Competition, held at Kefi Nasarewa State. The Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Folashadi Adifisayo, who received the victorious team at the Ministry of Education Conference Room, commended the students and their tutors for the outstanding performance and making the state proud. This Sustainable Development Goal 4 aims at ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promotes lifelong learning opportunities for all. This is what the year 2022 Equal Summit, which represents equity, quality and access in learning, sets to achieve and also to strengthen public-private partnership in the collective efforts to create a sustainable education system. Governor Babajide Sonwolu, who was represented by his deputy, Dr. Bafemi Hamzat, says the aim of his administration is to continue to provide quality education in a conducive environment. The summit brings together policymakers, practitioners and private bodies to exchange ideas, policies and practice as well as to provide broader solutions to governance and management issues. I want to tell you about that, the Lagos State children, we dreamt, and I want to tell you about our dream. We dreamt that we saw the Lagos State children at any great height in the country and outside the country, but our cost is smaller than our dreams. So we want to invest more into this educational sector. This concerted effort will lead to a strengthened government system in the education sector. These are subject teachers from various subject associations in Education District 5. At this event organized by the district, these teachers are being celebrated while showcasing the uniqueness of their subject associations. The event also provided a platform for these subject associations to interact and learn from one another. This is expected to impact positively on the teaching process. For these subject teachers, the day organized to celebrate them by the management of Education District 5 shows how much they are valued. Students from Education District 5 who have exhibited excellence in the academics and in different competitions have been honored by the management of the district. At the 2022 Honors Day event, organized to celebrate them, the students were rewarded for their creativity, innovation, and determination. The competitions include the Lagos State Schools Debate, Lagos State Governor's Quiz, Spelling Bee Competition, and the World Robotic Olympiad. Education District 5 also organized its annual sports festival. The event was celebrated at Miss Pomp and Pageantry with students from different zones taking part in the match pass track and field event as well as high jump dignitaries present applauded the annual sports festival describing it as an opportunity for students to showcase their talents yoruba tribe is rich in culture and tradition which has been passed from one generation to another to therefore ensure that this culture does not go into extinction lagos state education district 5 organized a program tagged ayeye ayajo asha atishi yoruba the students displayed their proficiency in yoruba language in their ewi wiki and dance drama the students say the program has opened their eyes to the rich culture of yoruba land Promoting the Yoruba tradition is not a matter of individual preferences or styles, but a collective responsibility. It therefore behoves on all Yorubas home and abroad to proudly showcase their culture wherever they find themselves. Music